All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. In this video, I wanna show you how Bitcoin is breaking through the mainstream culture in a big way. But first, never forget the epic dump of 2020. You heard it here first, Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. Great. So this meme was created by this guy right here. I'm going to leave the link in the description. He gives permission for everybody to share this with as many people as possible. And his personal goal is to get Mike Novogratz to retweet this. So I like this guy. He tweeted at us, so I wanted to support him. Anyways, Bitcoin was a topic of conversation in the premiere episode of the popular Showtime show Billions last night. Here's how it went. On Sunday night, supersized finance drama Billions had its season five premiere on Showtime. It was a much anticipated release, making it all the more surprising when the words Bitcoin escaped the lips of actor Paul Giamatti. So not to spoil too much, but Paul Giamatti, playing a US state attorney, rants about how absurd he finds the concept of mining and the value of Bitcoin. So watch Paul Giamatti, in my opinion, one of the most solid actors of our time, question, well, where does Bitcoin get its value? And for what? So your multitude of computers and servers could solve some abstract math equations resulting in the mining of Bitcoin. Worth millions right now, whoopee, but backed by what? Not a mix, zot. What's a dollar backed by since we went off the gold standard? Well, uh, roads, the military, industry, uh, the credit of the federal government, that sort of thing. Yeah, but I get your point. I really like this. So you can tell that either a producer or somebody on the writing staff, if not multiple people on the writing staff, are Bitcoiners. And make no mistake about it, I know they were questioning Bitcoin, but this is 100% positive for Bitcoin. This is a writer who's slipping in some Bitcoin education within a mainstream show. And this episode was probably written and shot six months ago. That's how long it takes for these things to get produced. So just imagine producers, writers, showrunners who are sticking Bitcoin in their shows right now that the general public are going to see six months from now. And you know how you can tell that this was written by a Bitcoiner? It's because the other side of the argument was presented. What is the US dollar backed by? So anyways, I think this is really cool. Bitcoin appearing in popular mainstream TV shows. This is how ideas spread. Now let's get to some other recent news. So I wanna talk about women in cryptocurrency. I wanna talk about Litecoin. I wanna talk about Ripple. I wanna talk about how Bitcoin is now being mined in Iran. A lot of stuff to go over. Let's start right here. Hey, single guys. The number of women in cryptocurrency has exploded in Q1 of 2020. A new study released by CoinMarketCap revealed an increasing growth among female crypto users in Europe and the Americas. And if you read this article, it gives you exact percentages. So for instance, 
they released this report, which indicates a 43% growth among female users in Q1 of 2020. Now, 2019 also saw an increase, but that increase was only 15%. So 15% going to 43%. It's a major acceleration. And to get more precise, 18 to 24 year olds rose 65% with the continents of America and Europe experiencing more than 50% growth. The research highlights an average of more than 80% in growth within some countries through Latin America, Europe, and Asia. And feel free to read this whole thing because it really breaks this stuff down. For instance, Argentina leads Latin America experiencing 98% growth. Greece stands out for the fastest growth in Europe at 163% growth. And the bigger picture is that Bitcoin specifically, but cryptocurrency in general, you know, doesn't discriminate whether you're a man or woman, black, white, Asian, Jamaican. Um, I guess it's just a coincidence that Bitcoin is held by a lot of uh, white guys and Asian guys. But, uh, you know, we need to see more diversity and anybody can get in. And this is a good thing, I think. Now, before we get to Iran, who has recently started mining Bitcoin, this is pretty big. I want to talk about both Litecoin and Ripple. A little altcoin news. So Litecoin, Mimblewimble integration sees test build and code base progress. Litecoin and Grin++ developer David Burkett has posted an April progress update on Litecoin's Mimblewimble integration claiming that a test net framework has been built and the code base integration has started. Surely if you're bullish on Litecoin, this is what you want to see. So he says, I've built a functioning testing framework that builds valid headers, blocks, and transactions. I've now got some mostly complete end-to-end -end block validation tests. And as Cointelegraph reported in March, Burkett predicted that Mimblewimble would be running on the Litecoin test net by the end of summer. So this is a significant step towards that goal. Um, I don't know whether Litecoin has a future or not. You know, some people like to say Litecoin is the silver to Bitcoin's gold, but Bitcoin really doesn't need a silver because it's so divisible. Um, anyways, Litecoin is usually an oscillator, meaning that when Bitcoin pumps, Litecoin usually pumps, and when Bitcoin goes down, Litecoin usually goes down, as in it's different from a lot of other altcoins which just trend down. At least we have seen Litecoin oscillate with Bitcoin throughout the years. Moving on, let's talk about Ripple, and not specifically about Ripple, but one of the major problems involving Ripple and XRP. Co-founder of Ripple, Jed McCaleb, sold 54 million in XRP just in April alone, and he still has billions left to sell according to his wallet activity. So what's there to say? Altcoins are companies and founders of those companies control a large supply in most cases, and they wanna make money. And in Jed McCaleb's case, he no longer cares about XRP. So he just has a bunch of coins that I guess you could say he uh, you know, printed for himself and he's just selling them on the open market because he doesn't care about the XRP price. He just wants to cash out, right? So just so you know, that's going on. Let's talk about Iran. If this is true, I'm not sure about this site, but if this is true, this is a pretty big deal. Iran has licensed for the first time a Bitcoin mining farm with 6,000 machines. So this gentleman, which owns the iMiner brand, has officially become the first company to enter into the Iranian market. iMiner experts configure and install mining machines according to special requirements of their clients who are then paid all income. In addition to mining, iMiners also sell mining equipment, which is imported directly from China and it claims to have the lowest market price. So if this is true, Iran is getting in on mining Bitcoin. What, is Iran in on the Ponzi? I don't think so. Speaking of Bitcoin, uh, let's check the price. We are still sitting at around $8,800. This is really good. Um, you know, we have this, you know, little uh, resistance area in this triangle right here at about 98. Um, you know, it's unclear where Bitcoin's going from here. We have some having hype. We saw seven weeks of straight green. It's got to come down sometime, but do we have another week of green? Um, just one expert's opinion, uh, Philb Philb, 
a famous Bitcoin and just a famous trader. If we click on this, I thought this was interesting. This is his end of year bull run prediction. And in my opinion, this is actually pretty conservative. Not a lot of hype in this opinion. He basically says Bitcoin uh, is going to go up to 10,400 ish, go all the way back down to 6,500, and then start the end of the year bull run, taking us up to resistance at 1,400, and then a drop down again this time to 7,500 going into 2021. So it's just one man's opinion, Phil, Phil, pretty respected guy in the space. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. My name is Aaron. Hopefully, we'll see how long this uh, shadow banning process with YouTube is, is happening, where if you put Bitcoin, at least in the first part of the title, um, they shadow ban you, it doesn't show up in subs feed. You know, that's why we did the Bitcoin a couple days ago. Gonna try and get around it. It might be okay in the second half of the title. In YouTube, it can help us out with this situation. Let us know. Other than that, I will see you tomorrow, my friends.